Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching a montage look at uh, two tech accessories that you can find for under $10. Now, they aren't the most terribly exciting stuff in the world, but they are fairly popular, especially this light you'll see here on the left. Uh, it's been floating around on the internet quite a bit, so we wanted to take a closer look at it. So, taking a look at this item first, um, this is actually a solar sensor wall light, so you'll find this again in the links down below. Essentially, it's an LED lamp or LED activated wall light that features, you can see here, eight LEDs, and supposedly it's extremely bright as well as, of course, energy efficient. In fact, it doesn't take any external power, no batteries, no charging cords, simply powered by the solar panel located on the very top, which uh, theoretically is actually a great concept. And then you can stick this on the back. It comes with a 3M adhesive tape onto a surface, maybe a wall. And then the sensor on here detects motion um, actually a few feet away. So once you wave your hand or it detects someone's walking by, it actually turns on by itself. After a few minutes of inactivity, it then powers the light off. So no other switches are really required. So it's going to be great for maybe higher uh, walls that you don't always want to reach, maybe outdoors. And it also comes with this kind of screw if you want to mount it more permanently onto a wall uh, without using this, this tape material. It's pretty lightweight. It's made out of this plastic material. And for the most part, it's also waterproof since there are no other ports that are revealed to water. Even the light here has been covered up in a safety seal, so everything really is protected nicely. So other than being kind of weatherproof, um, even for outdoor usage, in real life, I have to say this isn't the best product in the world. When it works, indeed, it actually is pretty good. And the sensor, again, it detects motion a few feet away. If you're really close up, it doesn't do anything. So that's why I'm waving my hand here. Nothing is happening. But the real concern is if you're living in an area where there isn't constant sunlight, there really isn't a huge battery on here. In fact, um, not one that really saves power that's converted from solar energy into this, uh, into this state that can be transferred into electrical energy. So in the sense that if you have it in a darker environment, like indoors or a park parking garage, even you know in a wall that doesn't get a ton of sunlight, the result is there isn't that much juice and uh, indoor light doesn't really seem to activate the solar panel and doesn't seem to be turning it on or charging it at all. So it, it becomes kind of difficult to use for a lot of purposes, it eliminates a lot of these potential uses for it and restricts it for outdoor usage and especially only in regions where there's a constant sunlight, maybe in California, maybe in Texas. Uh, so that might be you know, where the real target audience is. But overall, I came away a little bit disappointed with how this performed in, in real life. So it's something I wanted to quickly share, uh, I guess, in part with this uh, review. So the next item, also fairly low cost, is a alarm clock. It's by this company called HIPPI. H, and it's an LCD alarm clock, very simple. This works uh, a lot better, I suppose, comes in multiple colors, and this company actually specializes in alarm clocks as well as digital uh, kitchen gadgets, so you can check them out as well. And this is a, one of the more inexpensive models that they sell. Some of the fancier alarms we've actually seen before, uh, some with a hidden memo function, some with have a LED glowing light, but this one is the easiest one, and this makes for a good companion either as a travel alarm clock or either as a kitchen timer. If you're cooking and you want to see how long it takes before you have to take something out of the oven, for instance. It comes with a quick start guide and that's it. It takes two AAA batteries which are not included and will last you for about a year before you need to swap it out. And it's just a very typical LCD panel uh, with a simple glowing backlight. There is a simple snooze key that also activates the light feature so you can still see in the dark. The back features two speakers but it's a buzz speaker so it's really the equivalent of um, kind of a piezo speaker. It's not really a a thing that you can change with too much music or chimes. Um, and there's also the battery compartment. It sits pretty well on the surface at a tilted angle, but you can't lay it all the way flat. It also doesn't really fold down, but uh, down below here you have access to the controls corresponding to mode settings, going up and down and setting the alarm. So these are things that you use to control the time and setting it up for the first time. So, so here's what the glow effect where the backlight looks like. It's pretty even. And one more feature that you have on here is actually a thermometer. So you can actually see what temperature it is both in degree C uh, and also degrees F if you reprogram it. Also shows you the time uh, the the day of the week uh, written out in this format in addition to a month day format on the on the left over here. So you can change things like 24 hour to 12 hour formats and of course set the things up like the alarm. Um, so everything works pretty well and again the alarm itself is pretty loud and uh, despite the fact that it's only a beep speaker. So anyways guys this has been a quick look at two more gadgets uh, under $10 but again 
really only one of these I would say is okay if you're considering a budget or a basic alarm clock slash timer, whereas this one is a lot more limited uh, you know, by where you live and it doesn't really function as well as it should in my opinion. And I think that having a backup battery you know, in case you don't always have access to solar energy would be a better bet for a second generation product. Thanks for watching this video here at OS Review.